just around the corner here in the Kidron Valley, there is a, a tomb of Zechariah, Zechariah, a marvelous prophet. But there's a reason why his, um, his tomb is um, at the foot of the Mount of Olives. He said a lot of things. Two very important things. He said that the nations will come up during Sukkot, that, just, that we just finished. And we saw it because the people come um, en masse with their flags and everything. And it says, but in the days, uh, in the end of days, the, the, the nations will come up and they have to come and pray for rain during Sukkot. But he was also the guy that said, on the day of the Lord, he will stand with his feet on the Mount of Olives. Mm -hmm. And the Mount of Olives will split to the south and to the north. And water from Jerusalem will flow all the way to the Dead Sea. Mm -hmm. And another prophet goes on and he says that then, at that stage, the Dead Sea will come alive. Is the Dead Sea dying? The Dead Sea is actually dying. We are losing the Dead Sea because of um, um, all the water that we lose. So, so she's in desperate and dire need of rescuing, actually. Are we looking, uh, are we expecting a, an earthquake? Very much so. We actually a few decades over our time and that's why the government actually they have certain um, procedures now to, to make the, the houses um, also stronger the foundations because now you can see here it goes down because this is where we actually found the towers in the modern day city you can still see the city right okay so let's go and figure out where this is and when you read it Ezekiah was one of the last righteous kings what did he do? He brought the people back to temple service. He brought the people back into the will of God. Because the people um, sort of started with idolatry. He had a terrible father as well that sort of got the people into idolatry as well. So he had to fight the nation to get back to what God said. He brought, uh, he brought the Levites back onto their stand. The Bikurim, the first fruits, the people serving in the temple again. He got all of that ready. Now imagine you fighting a nation to not only believe in God again, but to do the service of God. God sent his worst enemy after he did this. This is the thank you that he got for all his work. But actually you can see the goodness of God in all of this. Why? Because in the time, the moment when you are outside God's will, he cannot protect you. You're outside his will. When you come underneath his will, he can actually do something. He can protect you. And God waited and waited for Hezekiah to bring the people back under his will. And only then he sent the king of Assyria. Charles Warren went into some kind of tunnel. And then he went through this hole in the roof and he popped out into some massive cavity. Okay? And now I want you to see when you go down how big this cavity is. This now, what you're seeing now dates back 4,000 years. Okay? This is Canaanite. This was built before David took the city. So let's go and see how big this tunnel actually is. You are now coming into the belly of Jerusalem. Also, you can see on the sides there are indents where the people had to put the, the candles to light up the tunnel to show the people behind you. Okay, guys, very important where we're standing right now, the place where history was made twice. Um, the first time is when we read about David. Now, this is a probable site. It's not the site. We can't say it's the site, but um, this is a very probable place. Okay? Um, so now when you come down, you can see that. Now, this is also the shaft where Warren came up. So he popped out exactly here, and this is what he saw. And he realized, but this is actually on top of this water source. So it, it doesn't say David went through the Gihon Spring or anything? Uh, it, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't huh. And why not? Why doesn't it say anything? Because if you as a king write, write in the annals of a king, this is how I took the city. <laughs> Next guy is reading it. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> a good idea. That's a good point. So he only put a, an annals, only a hint. On, on how I do this. <laughs> Military confidential proprietary. Yeah, there you go. Wash <laughs> thinking a little bit ahead of uh, <laughs> what's happening.